I had the, the great honor and the great privilege to be the first supervisor from the FBI to come in 2010 and 11 to start uh, a fully uh, robust CBRN program. And by that we mean all modalities, chem, bio, rad, and nuke. And each of those modalities would have a dedicated intelligence, prevention program, and operations capability. However, the work on that uh, to bring uh, an FBI uh, senior manager over to start such a program began years earlier. And on the Interpol side, the instrumental people were John Abbott and the Secretary General at the time, Ron Noble. And on the FBI side, um, there were several Im important parties to include um, Supervisory Special Agent Jeff Muller, uh, our Assistant Director at the time, Vahid Majidi, and then two analysts, uh, Gretchen Lorenzi and Rob Scripp. Uh, Interpol, prior to the FBI's commitment of a senior manager, Interpol had a very uh, na nascent bioprevention program up and running. And uh, that was initially funded by the Sloan Foundation in uh, New York and the United States. And uh, Project Geiger, which, uh, had, which has become the core of Interpol's police intelligence uh, mechanism for uh, the Rad Nuke Terrorism Prevention Unit as it exists today, that was initially funded by the Department of Energy, and uh, um, the FBI took that over in 2010, the funding part, but Department of Energy is a, is a key partner in this. Uh, those, all those efforts came together very nicely in the late 2000s, and we were able to, to develop the relationship to the point where the FBI could commit some resources and start actually start those complete, full programs incorporating the work that had already been done. I'd like to say two things about this conference. Uh, when we first started, uh, it was quite an Anglophone uh, um, effort. You know, most of the people coming and most of our experts were from English-speaking countries. And we thought about that a lot and tried to think about uh, different types of outreach. And here at this conference, I, I, I can see firsthand the, the fruition of those efforts where uh, the Francophone countries are very well represented, both presenting, both France and other countries presenting, and in the audience. And it is, it is just tremendous to hear questions in different languages. I think that this conference is showing us that there's a, among the member service uh, police organizations, there is an appetite for this type of expertise at Interpol. Uh, the countries are hungry not just to, to take the expertise, but to contribute to it as best they can with whatever their programs can bring. And this particular conference is reaching a level of expertise that, uh, um, that I find really quite impressive, considering we've only, really, we only kicked off in 2010. Here it is, the very beginning of 2016, and we're discussing very sophisticated ideas and getting a lot of interaction from the audience. And we're also not afraid to delve into the complete spectrum of, of this type of casework. Sophisticated operations, the legal issues, um, consequence management issues. I, I believe that this conference is showing how the CBRNE subdirectorate is supporting the complete police mission for the member service police organizations. There is no one police agency in the world that can afford to develop the expertise to handle all aspects of these cases. And remember, the major goal here is, is prevention. Once we have dissemination, it's too late. And the, the price tag, both in human life and in mitigation, goes way, way up. It is our obligation to look at prevention and develop those techniques. And for me, uh, a career police officer with legal academic credentials to understand nuclear physics, uh, chemical engineering, and the biological organisms that present the highest level of danger to humans, it's not quite realistic. I would spend my entire adult life in being educated. So the partnerships to go out to the academic world, the regulatory world, the emergency preparedness world to handle um, the unfortunate eventuality if there is a dissemination, we all must meet together regularly. Uh, not just in radiological and nuclear, but in biological and chemical areas as well. And Interpol is leading the charge there. Uh, th this directorate has, has just done tremendous work, not just uh, mobilizing um, nation-state programs, but, but inviting our international organization colleagues to get together and to really robustly expand that partnership issue. Without them, 
we, we don't stand a chance of preventing these disseminations.